leftover water. It is what is left in a container after someone or something has drunk from it. Leftover water of any human being is pure. Whether it is the leftover water of a man, a woman, or one who is in a state of janaba, ritual impurity, or one who is menstruating. It is reported that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to drink from what Aisha had drunk, may Allah be pleased with her, while she was menstruating, and he used to put his mouth on the place where she had drunk from. Similarly, the leftover water of a cat is pure because of the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, about a cat which had drunk from a container. It, meaning the cat, is not impure. It is merely one of your companions who frequently wanders around you. The same is the case for leftover water of birds and the leftover water of animals which are permissible to eat, and mules, donkeys, carnivores, and hunting birds, and their likes. This is because the basis of all things is that they are pure if there is no evidence proving otherwise. But the leftover water of a dog is impure, because of the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, the purification of any of your containers in which a dog has licked is by washing it seven times, the first of them with soil. Similarly, the leftover water of a pig is also impure because of Allah saying, and the meat of swine, for verily it is rijs, which means filth, that is an impurity. For your benefit, consider these points. The fundamental principle regarding all things is that they are pure until something indicates otherwise. When an impurity changes into something else, for example, when the dung of a donkey is burnt and changes into ashes, then it becomes pure through this change. And when an impurity befalls any cloth, etc. But the exact place of the impurity is unknown, the entire cloth is to be washed. This is because Islam is concerned about the cleanliness of human beings, which Allah created in the best of forms.